Hallelujah, amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah, amen. Uh, I am the most happiest person in this environment. Thou shalt not lie. In this year and in this country. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Amen. I have a triple testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. All the time is good. The number one testimony goes like this. In 2016, I just saw an application online and applied. So after some time, they invited me for an interview. We came for that interview. Actually, I applied for electrical technician. So after the interview, they told me that actually they are looking for electrical supervisor. To the glory of God, I was successful and they gave me the supervisor. Amen. Praise the living God. God. For that. So I continued. But at this uh, one uh, manager, I gave part of this testimony sometimes ago. So this manager could not allow me to work. In that my former place, the money is not too much. Most of us, we depend on overtime and the working on public holidays days so that your money can come up to something. So each time I want to come for public holiday work or overtime, the man will tell me that the management did not want me to come. That they are complaining that they are paying much on the salary. I thought actually it was the management. I didn't know that it was the man. So, I went to the HR then, without knowing that he was working with the HR. I did not know any of them before I joined the company. So, the HR told me that I have to listen to the man, that it is my boss that communicates to the white man that owns the company. So, things continue like that. To October 2017, Something happened in that organization. The man said he had a, another job, he left. So the series of that thing now affected some people. They sacked one out of them, and the other they made their way. So from then, that thing that man was preventing me doing. In fact, I was the one that the whites will call, what, how do we do this? Are you coming to work on this day? But some days, if I say I will not come, they will say you have to come because you don't trust other people. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. So this thing continued the late last year. Okay, early last year. So the man that left, he still have some groups in that place. There are people that are listening to him and communicate to him whatever that happens. So the thing became another issue. Uh, by the special grace of God, I escaped two incidents that had caused a serious injury to me. I gave the testimony here. I give God the glory. Who saved me? Amen. When this thing was happening, I began to pray. I told God I need a walk. 
It appears as if I am tired of this place. Or they don't want somebody that uh, somebody that does things the right way. Because in their own way, they will do something. I want to cover it up. Their mind is just to look for where they can get money from. So the thing continued until October last year. No, August last year. This is my testimony. I am giving it serially. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray we learn from it in the name of Jesus. So around August last year, one day I opened my email. I checked, I saw a message. One company wrote to me. I did not even know when I applied for that company, but I've been applying for jobs. Each time I go online, if I see a job that is related to my discipline and the skills I have, I will apply. So that day, I opened my mail. I saw a company from Portacourt. They had office in Lagos. Here. They said they had an opening in Portacourt. And they found my uh, information in their database. That if I'm willing to do that job and I'm willing to go to Portacourt, that I should indicate. That was four days before the message came. I saw the message. And I indicated that I'm willing. So after like two days, they sent me another message. They, in that message, they said they had the opening in Warren and in Portacourt. I replied to them that I prefer Portacourt. So they replied to me again that I should not comment on anything again. That I should accept. That I should only say I need it. But I glorify the name of the Lord. Who granted my desire? So after about two weeks, they called me and told me that I should open a Skype account. That if I can be able to communicate on phone. I said, yes. I opened an account. They said they would call me. That was September last year. I waited. They didn't call me. I called them. They said I should wait. I called again. They said I should wait. So one day somebody called me. She asked me if I am free to uh, attend to questions now. I told her to give me some time. That I just resumed work that day. So she waited until the time I told them. They called me and they interviewed me. I didn't hear from them again. I sent a message. They said they will come back to me. Later, they sent a uh, message from Portacourt. The Portacourt branch called me. They interviewed me on phone. I waited. Nothing happened. On, uh, okay, this thing was happening uh, in the first and second week of August last year. So on 24th August, I was on duty here in Lagos. I just opened my phone around 8 o'clock. I saw an SMS that if you go to Portacourt, so so and so place at Lele one that you should ask for RFM. I should tell the security that I, am, I came for an interview. That was on the particular day the interview was supposed to hold. I looked at the SMS. So I picked up the number I called. I told the person, I just got an SMS from my phone now. And I'm in Portacourt now. She said, woman, she replied, you should be in Portacourt today. That was on Saturday, 24th August. That they sent message on an uh, email. I told her, I didn't see any message. Yo. She said, okay. She called the phone. I called her, she didn't pick again. Then I sent her a message again. That I'm willing to come to Portacourt if they will reschedule me for interview. After like an hour, she sent me a text message that her child will contact me. That day on Sunday, then that Sunday should be 25th 
5th August of 2016. I came to church that day. I was not myself because I'm seeing light and it appears that that light is fading away. Immediately I came to the church. I said my prayer. I came to the altar and I dropped 5,000 naira. I prayed to God that this offering I dropped today I want the company to call me back. Not only to call me, I want to join the company in Port Harcourt. So that Sunday, it appears as if my prayer was in line with the uh, preaching that he gave. That day, he preached on restoration on that Sunday. I hereby stand in my office as a prophet and I decree as they decree with me and say restore, restore to them all those things they've lost. I hereby release what he God shall restore to you in the name of Jesus that you shall become a testifier of this restoration in this month of September, in October, November, December. I hereby restore. Anybody here, the enemy has taken your marriage. I prophesy, restore. Somebody say, I can hear you. Somebody say, restore. Marital breakthrough, financial breakthrough, good health, good health, good health, good health, upliftment, promotion, connection. Financial breakthrough, business breakthrough, connection, elevation, new job, wisdom, long life, in the name of Jesus. So when he was preaching on restoration, my mind was telling me that God has accepted my prayer. So that day passed. I started communicating them. They could not call me again. Each time, that had been my prayer point. Until September, around September 14th or 10th, they called me for a written interview in Lagos. Why the other people went their own at court. I went that day alone. I did what I know I could do. And God perfected everything. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. On 9th October last year, they called me again. The first question they asked me, whether I am willing to relocate to Patakot, I said yes. They said I should come to the office and collect my appointment later. I told them tomorrow. As God may have it, that day I was on night duty. So on 9th October last year, I went to the office. They gave me the offer letter. I told them that I would resume on 18th October last year. So on 17th, I traveled to Portacourt. I told that. When we get to Portacourt, I learned that we were there that they selected from the interview. Then unfortunately, one person could not come. So we were two. But the devil came to try for God to overpower him. Praise the Lord. Leah. Instead of us to resume the work, because we have collected the appointment letter from Lagos, we waited at one of the branches in Port Harcourt. The original facility manager could not come. So around 3 o'clock, she called that they could not come that their clients said they don't have chance to interact with us. That they wanted to interact with the people they employed. I didn't understand it. So I came down and called her that this thing you said, I did not understand it. Now when I got your appointment later, I have resigned from my former place to join you because the offer is better. She 
She too told me that they too, they don't understand what the clients mean. That such a thing had not happened before. But that they will go with us. They gave us one week. That was on 25th October last year. So we went to their clients. We thought it was just normal, formality. How are you? Something of that nature. They didn't turn to become another state of interview. We were interviewed on electric car, we were interviewed on the quality control and quality assurance. At the end of the day, they did not give us feedback. I waited in Portacourt for four days, no response. I called the manager. She said they've not gotten any response from them. I didn't know what to do, but I give God the glory. Who was with me? Before I traveled, I applied for annual leave. I did not resign. So I waited in Portaco for eight days. Nothing happened. My annual leave had expired six days. But I called my office. I told them one story. By his grace, they believed. And I came back after six days and I resumed. I was too down. People that know me, when I came back last year, October, from my travel, I was lean. I could not eat. So that day I came back, I came to the altar again. I dropped another sacrifice. I told God, this is my job. For other people to have gone to Portaco for interview, and I was the only person they interviewed in Lagos, and I have collected an offer letter before I went there. But I claimed the job. Each time I devised a means of calling them every week, I call them, they say they are on it. I call them again, they say on it, they are on it. First week of uh, January, they sent me a message on my boss, on my email. One of the messages, one of the texts they sent me, one is 186 pages, another one is 89 pages. They said I should be reading those things and get myself prepared for an interview. I looked at it, I didn't know where to start because this is too voluminous. How can you be reading such things to prepare for an interview that you have an appointment letter? I told Daddy I make some calls. I have a series of advices, people telling them to sue them and this and that. But God glorified himself. Last week of January, they called again that they have communicated with their clients and they said I should give them dates that I will come to Potaco for another interview. I gave them one week. The manager said she will communicate to them. I was waiting, they did not feed me back until six days to that one week. That they have told my former office that I will go on annual leave. I told them on Tuesday, Tuesday came, I told them no, I could not make it up. That they should give me Wednesday, no, Thursday next week. So I was waiting for them. Six days in the evening time, they called. They said they have accepted. Then I was still in Lagos. So I have to go back to my office that day. I told them that I want to start leave tomorrow. If you see, God has been perfecting this thing to glorify himself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So on that day, I traveled. That was on 31st, on 30th January. We had an appointment on... That the first. So when we got there, I thought that the whole thing was still over. So they took me to their clients. When we came, we met the man. And to the glory of God, the men, the people that interviewed us on the last time, was not the same person that interviewed us again. This last one, 
Out of three of us, I was the only one invited. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when I got there, we met a man that is supposed to interview me. The man looked at them, there were two the operational manager and the regional facility manager. He asked them, Why are we here? She now replied that we bring this man for you to interview him and feed us back. The man looked at the other man, looked at the woman, and looked at me. He asked them, Have you interviewed him? They said, Yes. Are you okay with him? They said, Yes. The man said, If you're okay with him, I don't have any problem. It is you that is employing him that I know. So whatever happens, I will, lay, I will hold you responsible. If you're okay with him, I'm okay with him. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. That is how I got a new job. Hallelujah. I appreciate God for that. That is God's wondrous work with patience. Then the second one, which is the part of the first one. Okay, that is just one. Yes. Okay, one minute. One. Okay. So when I came back to my former place, the processes, they follow for somebody to resign, if you want to resign. The barrier, the protocol was broken to the glory of God. Hallelujah. So, Amen. Lastly, but not the least, this morning, I heard that my nephew had won a House of Assembly member for Ben the North local government type of state. Appreciate Praise yes, the living God. Amen. Jam your hands to appreciate God for these testimonies. It is not our making, but the Lord's. Amen.